Got a haircut a few days ago. Finally got this fucking thing here resolved where it's not fucking floating. Well, there's still a little bit of fucking things right here, but it's not as fluffy as it used to be. It's much more manageable. And we got this fucking map. So I'm just gonna start the video off like this because I'm honestly kind of mad. You guys have probably read the title. But if you guys know, SM2 and X Labs have been shut down by Activision. But if you guys know, um, they both got sent a cease and desist order from Activision and everything because of copyright, I think. But some stuff has came out and everything about like skill, not skill based matchmaking, I forgot what it's called, but where you buy something from the store and get put into easier lobbies. Or you buy a gun and then you get put into easier lobbies. Not playing black gold, nope, 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 fuck that. Apparently it was the patent for, I think, Skylanders originally, and it it could be possibly used in Modern Warfare 2, but I'm pretty sure that's already confirmed. Now, I used to like skill-based matchmaking and everything, or at least the idea of it. But turns out that's not been implemented in any type of way, it's just been you buy something and you get into easier lobbies. Now, like I said again, this is a patent, but we can probably already confirm that's, that Activision has probably used this knowing how scummy they are. Because for the past few days, they just shown the true colors at this point. They've shown to us that the community that they just do not give a fuck. They don't care about the community, they've shown that with SM2, which was a community project to just bring like, it was kind of like Call of Duty Online if you guys have never played that before. Or Chinese Call of Duty, wherever, however you want to call it. Actually a better representation would be like Call of Duty Mobile. They have shown if they, that if they don't make a profit off of anything, that they they will just take it down. Now I know to some of you guys are gonna say, oh, they're using Call of Duty's assets. Assets they have not used for years. Probably don't even care about those assets. But once they saw that those peoples were using those assets, I don't even think SM2 wasn't even gonna cost any money, I think. It was just a community-driven project. I'm not, I'm not. But yeah, they just took the whole fucking game down. But I just want you to imagine this. People are saying that they stole people's assets. This was for the fucking community, which Activision... At, we have told Activision so many fucking times that we wanted a game like Call of Duty Online. Now, Call of Duty Online was exclusive to China, but, you know, when people saw it had potential and, and, like, you know, collaborated everything from, like, you know, the previous Call of Duty games to, like, I think, Call of Duty 4 and to Infinite Warfare Up, having all these previous Call of Duty games is, like, a great thing. But we just were never heard and everything, and the closest thing we got was Call of Duty Mobile. For X-Labs and everything, X-Labs is a great thing for, like, you know, to protect yourself. You guys have seen how bad Call of Duty has been monitored over the past few years, you guys have no how easy it is to get your fucking IP at track. I'm pretty sure it was prominent on Black Ops 3 mostly because if you played on a, like, if you played like the original Steam version without these clients, you had the possibility, actually I think it was a 100% guarantee that you had your fucking IP track. And those clients protected you from that. Especially like, you know, with IW4X I think it's called. Helped you play Modern Warfare 2 because on, if you guys don't no, um, Call of Duty's didn't have dedicated servers. It was literally just a, it was just a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So you had your, I think it ran off of your, ran off of your own internet. I think that's how it goes, how peer-to-peer -peer works. But it either connected to your console or your internet and it ran the lobby off of it. Now, in modern terms, that sounds pretty bad, which it pretty much is because I, even back in the old days, like I think on Modern Warfare 2, like on Xbox 360, where it was most prominent, you had your IP easily tracked. There was a bunch of, I, I forgot what they were called. But what people would do, they would track your IP and then just fucking lag the shit out of it and just hit you offline. Now, I don't know if this happened in uh, Call of Duty or not. I think it happened on War Call of Duty World War II, but this actually happened in my town where um, someone got their IP traced and had the, and they accidentally got the wrong person or whatever. Someone had their whole IP address traced and turns out it was even the wrong person actually. And someone had their whole IP address traced and they the FBI was sent to the wrong house. The person walked outside of his front doorstep and was literally shot down because someone was able to track their IP address. I think it was some argument or whatever, but yeah, they got shot when they walked outside. There's a whole news story about it, but yeah, it, it happened in my town. Now, does that have evidence to peer-to-peer? -peer? No, but that could what could possibly happen to someone if there was someone on a peer-to-peer -peer connection, and those clients can help you protect it against that. But now with the client shut down and everything, I'm pretty sure you can still play it somehow. But now people are just at a greater risk on, I, th I think it's BO3 and MW2 that, that they supported. And people are now can easily get hacked and the games are just 
going to be unplayable. This is why people don't go back to older Call of Duty games because of that reason, because they're at greater risk of, you know, getting hacked and everything. And those clients protected that, and it's just so fucking sad to see them get shut down because of a fucking scummy ass company. And this is coming from a Call of Duty fanboy. I have tried to defend Call of Duty so many times, I tried to dis defend them in skill-based matchmaking. Call of Duty as a game is great, but the company who runs it is just very fucking scummy. And especially with the new news coming out about like how if you buy something from the store you have a greater chance of you know getting into easier lobbies. It should show how fucking greedy these companies are and I wish these game these game makers it, it wasn't all about microtransactions. Now see me I've only the only game I don't even think I've spent any money on a Call of Duty game. I think I've only spent like on a map pack on BO2 to get that fucking skateboard map. But again, it was from a patent that was originally for Skylander. And that's making me, you know, fucking self-conscious about, like, because skill-based matchmaking is... Once I'm starting to think about it more and more now, it's, it honestly makes so much less sense to me now. And skill-based matchmaking was supposed to, you know, put you in easier lobbies and whatever. Before, you would just get grouped with a random bunch of people, with people who are good and bad. But now with skill-based matchmaking, you are put into lobbies where you are put in the same skill level. And the mixture of skill-based matchmaking and with you being put into a easier lobby when you buy a skin, it's now pretty fucking scummy that that's being taken advantage of now. So where people who buy the skins are now being put into to those fucking stutter put into those lower level lobbies. I just want you to think about that for a second and how think how fucking scummy that is that they are rewarding these players by putting them into lower level matches. And you know with Modern Warfare 2 being the best selling game of like you know the best selling Call of Duty game in fact of all time you would think that you know they had like you know their fucking payday or whatever and you would know make the game better. And that hasn't happened. <laughs> Activision they have existed since the fucking Atari days guys. You would think they would know how to operate as a business and you know care for the fucking individual or the consumer of their fucking you know game or whatever or infinity ward or whatever tray activision would care for their fucking consumers but it, they're doing a fucking oh my gosh it's genuinely like so fucking surprising what they are doing to the community like you cannot make this shit up like they do not care about the community when i say they do not care they do not care they just care about fucking money and when they make the money that they need they care, they only care about making Call of Duty early, but when they make them the money, <laughs> when they make the money that they need, and you think that you know they're gonna make the game better, they don't. So much hype was around Modern Warfare 2, and I thought it would bring the series back, but all it has shown all it has shown is Activision's true colors. And with Modern Warfare 3 rumors just coming out, we better make sure that they don't fuck it up, because this will, Modern Warfare 3 will make or break the series. I just fucking saw a triple lineup. But from a person who is a Call of Duty fanboy and who has been playing this game since I was fucking five years old on Black Ops 2, you know, I got fucking lucky and everything. I got I got to play on the best Call of Duty game when it first released. That was my exposure to the Call of Duty series was Black Ops 2, which is apparently the best Call of Duty game to most people. My first Call of Duty game was the best Call of Duty game. So I got lucky. I got very lucky. But, you know, it's just that I just don't want to see this game die. It's... I like seeing things succeed. I like seeing people succeed in everything. I don't want Call of Duty to become a next guitar band. I don't want that to happen. And if it does happen, it's going to be really fucking sad because I had so many great memories with Call of Duty. It has helped me so much throughout the years. And it's honestly, I, it's like watching a child grow up. You know, it's a you know, it's a great child, you know, like, you know, they get a 4.0 in school and everything, and then they become a drug addict when they turn the age of 20. They slowly and slowly just start killing themselves and everything, and then just slowly and slowly they just, you know, they they start to just, you know, fucking kill themselves. That is what Call of Duty is right now. And the best thing that they need to do is like, you know, go into fucking rehab or in Call of Duty's case, start look listening to the fucking community. I know that kind of got a little bit too deep, but yeah, it, that's the only metaphor I can think about right now. Call of Duty is kind of like the Fast and Furious movies, it's lost its plot. Just, we can only pray for Modern Warfare 3. And if Modern Warfare 3 sucks, it's gonna break the series, we can already, only future will tell. It's been Gabriel guys, and see you later.